welcome to our next video. In today's class, we shall continue the topic of plant pathology. In last class, we have spoke about bacteria, the reproduction, the waste and all. In today's class, we shall continue some extended part of the bacteria. That is, these organisms share some similarities with the bacteria, but they are mainly differentiated with respect to cell wall. Yes, these organisms are called as mycoplasma. In plants, especially we call them as PPLOs, like pleuronemonia like organisms. Yes, we shall learn about these bacteria today. Come. Mycoplasma, prior to 1967, before 1967, these organisms and the disease caused by these organisms were considered as the viral diseases the viral diseases yes later in the 1967 doi et al and ishi et al from japan they proposed that these are caused by mlos and these organisms are sensitive to tetracycline and thermolabile this was proposed by doi et al and ishi et al in 1967 Later that they came to know oh, these are not caused by viral organisms. There is something more than that. Some special organisms which are more than the virus and less than the bacteria. That are these mycoplasmas. Now let's see few characteristics of PPLO or molecules. I said uh, they are also called as molecules. And especially in plants we call them as pleuronemonia like organisms. That is simplified. In simplified form we call them as PPLOs. Let's see few general characteristics. Later on some special characters also we will see. Now let's see some general characters. They are small, unicellular, usually non-motile, prokaryotic organisms. Yes, we all know it's general. And lack of rigid cell wall. Yes, they lack the rigid cell wall. We don't say there is no layer uh, in the cell wall. But the strong or rigid cell wall is absent in these organisms and when they they grow on free media like uh, in a petri plates and all in a free media they will grow and when they grow and form colonies we see a fried egg shapes that is fried egg colonies we call them as so when they grow on free media we will observe fried egg, egg shaped colonies and as they are smaller than bacteria, they are filterable through bacterial filters, that is 450 nanometer filters. Yes, they are filterable through this. Hence, they are confused with the viruses. Now, I think you get the point why it was confused. And insensitive to penicillin. See friends, penicillin acts on the cell wall. The main, the, this antibiotic mainly acts on cell wall. Hence, they are insensitive because they lack a rigid cell wall. And tetracycline, they act on the cytoplasm or the bacterioplasm and all. So, as they are present active form, they are susceptible to this tetracycline. Next character is absence of reversion to bacterial forms. And they are very smaller than bacteria. So, they can't revert back to bacterial forms. They can't gain the rigid cell walls. That's the character. Let's see some uh, classification. That is, the domain is eubacteria. The division is tenericutes. And the class is molecules, order, mycoplasmatides. And the family is, uh, some family, three families exist here. I just mentioned the important ones, not the entire one. That is, mycoplasmatidae. Acole plasmataceae and spiroplasmataceae. These are important families. And all. Now, among molecules, there are still two types like phytoplasma and uh, spiroplasma. Uh, phytoplasma are the organisms that cause these diseases. And let's see few characters of these phytoplasma and some diseases which are caused by these phytoplasma. They are similar to mycoplasma. Yeah, they are similar, but they are, these are obligate parasites, that is, they are not yet cultured on artificial media. Usually, for the obligate parasite, we say they can't be cultured on artificial media, 
but till now to culture the phytoplasma on artificial media they haven't tried and even if they were tried they have they are not successful so as per now we name them as obligate parasites that's why i mentioned they are not egg cultured and these affect the phloem tissues of the plant these phytoplasma affect the phloem tissues in the plant and mainly they are present in sieve tubes remember in the phloem tissue if you remember phytoplasma phytoplasma are for phloem phloem they are present in sieve tubes and they reproduce by the reproduction is by binary fission and budding just few examples okay friends these phytoplasmas are transmitted with the help of the vectors that is leaf hoppers plant hoppers and psyllids remember friends these three insects insect vectors feed on the phloem tissues of the plant that's why as the phytoplasma mainly survive in the phloem tissue of the plant and these feed there they are easily transmitted with the help of these insects and the phytoplasma are gram negative and there is no spore formation and there is no flagella these are sensitive to tetracycline we have seen in the mycoplasm and they are sensitive to chloramphenicol also these antibiotics sorry antibiotics okay. these phytoplasma multiply in the insect vectors in the hemolymph hemolymph of the vector insect vector or the alimentary canal of the insects or the salivary glands of the insects these are the place where they go on to survive okay friends in insects in insect vectors in the hemolymph and alimentary canal and all they survive for 10 to 45 days that is the incubation period they incubate in those parts of the insects to spread so the incubation period required for them is 10 to 45 days and the phytoplasma uh, causes diseases like little leaf of brinjal sugarcane grassy shoot coconut lethal aloeing peach aloe aster aloe sandal spike pear decline rice aloe dwarf apple proliferation these are some diseases that are caused by phytoplasma thank you friends thanks for watching this video please do subscribe share comment on this video thank you